days, consumers are more aware than ever about the food they eat and where it comes from. And for the EPP group, giving people clear and accurate information about the food they buy is an important part of bringing the EU closer to its citizens. And that's why our MEPs have been at the heart of scrutinising legislation dealing with the quality and quantity of information that food manufacturers are obliged to provide. This week, the Parliament's Environment, Public Health and Food Safety Committee has been voting on a package of measures related to the food information made available to consumers. Renata Sommer, a German MEP from our group, is the Parliament's rapporteur on this draft legislation. As she explains to EPPTV, MEPs have been at odds with national governments over the Commission's proposal. The Council did not take into account quite a lot of details. Uh, the uh, Parliament voted in favour of in first reading and uh, did not want to have an example any front of pack labelling, was not even willing to define what is front of a food package. And uh, that was the reason why we criticised the uh, Council very much. After this vote, are you satisfied that MEPs have adequately dealt with citizens' concerns? The difficulty is that we don't really know uh, what the citizens want to know about food, what they want to have labelled, what is most important for them and what they probably understand. Uh, EU-wide, uh, there are some um, um, surveys existing from uh, single member states uh, on, on special subjects, but we don't have the big overview over the whole EU. The Commission's proposal and the Committee's subsequent amendments touch on a number of important and sometimes controversial issues. For example, the compulsory labelling of potentially harmful trans fats and the legibility of food information on labels. Another issue that's raised concern in the food industry is so-called country of origin labelling, whether all ingredients in a product should be listed according to where they come from. The rapporteur told us she was disappointed by the Committee's decision. We decided um, as a, a committee responsible on uh, uh, origin labelling that goes from my point of view much too far. I have nothing against origin labelling, but uh, what we should have is a prior impact assessment, whether it's feasible or not. It's a question whether uh, the consumer really demands it, so we don't know it. Um, I think if the uh, consumer really wants to have it, the market will deliver this information. What did the committee vote in regard to the labelling of meat slaughtered according to religious rituals? A well, two-third majority voted in favour of a special labelling um, uh, from uh, meat from slaughter without stunning. From my point of view and for, for the parliament it has n not really something to do with the re religions. Um, for parliament it is a problem of animal welfare. But meanwhile, I think it would be better to handle this point extra, in an extra regulation possibly, um, uh, with the headline animal welfare. The committee has made its view clear. Now, whether the member states in the council will share that view remains to be seen. However, the EPP group remains committed to seeking a proportionate and balanced package that takes into account the views of businesses and consumers. For more information about our group's activities, please visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.